People who have friends with benefits. How did you go from friends to friends who have SX? We were watching a movie together and there was some reference to Titif King. He said he'd never tried that before because all the girls he'd dated before have had smaller boobs. My boobs are very conductive to such activities. I jokingly asked if he wanted to try with me. He jokingly said yes. So we tried. Started as friends. Ended up becoming roommates. Both of us had been out of relationships for a while so s all tension got high with us living together. Slept together a few times and then she got a boyfriend so we ended things. We're still great friends. Didn't ruin anything between us. It was just casual sx between consenting adults. We were at her place talking about Halloween. A very paraphrased version of the conversation. Huh? It's just an excuse for people to dress slttty and have sx me. Been there twice. Both times. We got drunk one night and it just happened. We decided to keep having sx but not get serious. Grew boobs. Suddenly got a lot of good friends who wanted to hold me tight. I had been friends with D for years. I was dating her best friend K during that time. After K and I broke up. I stayed friends with D. We hung out a lot and one night she said oh I should still be just friends. But friends who have sx sometimes. It was great and lasted for years off and on. We are still friends. Clicking on this thread was the wrong choice for my self esteem lol. It generally works the other way around. Generally there is a fling but no personal connection. So you just stay with it when convenient. It rarely starts from pure friendship. I was random friends with C. We had met through a mutual connection. One night after we had been texting for weeks and being friendly I jokingly told her I could show her how to make carbonara. I brought two bottles of wine. We cooked together. Watched some stand up comedy and then ended up having sx. We were on and off since then and it was great we both date other people and occasionally hook up. Pasta carbonara. I see myself out now. Currently still have a fwb of 3 ish years. Brad. Was the brother of my best friend K through high school and college. So we knew each other very well. I had just gotten out of a very bad relationship and was still in the I'm going to cry and eat ice cream phase when Kate invited me to a house party. I ended up hooking up with Brad after the party. It was awkward for a little while after but then we started hanging out again and realized we could be friends who just happened to mess around if we were both single. It's been a fun arrangement. Oh. Let me quote the email I got out of the blue one day. If it wasn't apparent. I'm very attracted to you. And I think we could have really hot sx. I don't know if you're interested in adding the benefits package to the standard issue friends arrangement. But if so. We should talk about it. We talked about it. Then we started having sx. Colon. Ro. Email. We weren't really close. More like we had a mutual friend and added each other as a result. I'd known for years he'd wanted to fck me. He was very upfront about it. But respected my boundaries, but I didn't do anything about it. Few years later. I'm out of a relationship but I miss sx. He's randomly in town. I send him a message. We meet up the next day. And the dick is fking amazing. Fked off and on for a couple of years. Only regret is not getting that dick sooner. Seriously. He fcks so well it's like he went to school for it. Here is your degree in dicking. Go out there and make some girl think you went to school for this dick. I told him he smelled si, a mix of aftershave, whiskey, and cigarettes, and then he kissed me. Then we had sx and have been having it on and off ever since. No romantic interest in him whatsoever. Si smelting. Hot. My smithing level is 99 in runescape and 100 in skyrim. So maybe we could hang out sometime too. She played dnd with me. One day I showed her my apartment and she showed me her boobs. Kinda just went from there. I invited him to my room to play with the samurai swords he'd given me. 
then pretty much just asked if he wanted to stay the night. He told me later that he'd just expected to make out. Instead it turned full blown Caligula. We had crazy animal sx for almost a year. It ended because neither of us knew how to just keep it at sx friends, dates, presents, spending the holidays together, etc, but he also didn't want to be in a relationship. So that was fun. I always thought she was objectively attractive. But I didn't really try for anything as it was my first year of college and I just wanted to meet people. At the end of the year I got hammered from a night out. We ended up alone and I said straight to her face I want to fck you. The day after we laughed it off. But it must have festered with her over the summer. By fall we were fwb. I had a friend a couple years back. We were both in college and kept in touch despite being a state apart we talked weekly. Well over spring break while we were both home he mentioned he recently lost his virginity and was told he was bad at it. I jokingly said well then we should practice make you better. After talking about it and said we would just be friends with benefits. We practiced all summer and come fall when he went back to school that was the end of it. We don't talk about it anymore but I will say his girlfriend thinks he's great in bed and I'd like to think that was because of me. Dot. We were friends for about 5 years at the time and she was somewhat freshly out of a relationship of 6 years. We were just hanging out and talking about random stuff and she brought up thinking about using her time being single for the first time in her adult life. She was 25, as a reason to experiment a bit. I gave her a sideways look for a bit and it went like this. Me. I uh. Wait. Do you mean. Her. Yes. Picklock. Use your words. Me. Oh. Uh. No. I just thought you were trying to say something. Huh? What did you think I was saying? Me. Oh. I thought you might have been hitting on me for a second. Huh? I was. Me. Oh. Turns out she's had a crush on me for, well, 5 years. And cut me some slack. I'm 26 and while I've dated a couple of women, I've never actually had somebody outright tell me they had a crush on me before. Or even hit on me. It was a game changer. We're back to just friends now, somewhat sadly. But much better friends. Honestly. We both got to experiment. And had a great time doing it. You'd be surprised what can happen if you just ask. Best case yes. Worst case you lose a friend. How can you tell if it is safe to ask? We literally hooked up at a party. Had sx within an hour of meeting each other. Inviting them to a sx party tends to send the right message. Comma I guess there are two options. Verbal and non-verbal communication. Both with varying degrees of subtlety. Each person responds differently, you can gradually introduce the idea of you being attracted to them and see how they respond. In general. If they're attracted to you and feel safe comfortable with you. Like they can trust you. Then it'll likely be pretty natural to go there. They need to know that one, they can be safe around you intimately. Naked vulnerability is a thing. 2. You will honor and respect them socially. Like if they want to keep it hush hush that you would represent them well etc. 3. That when either of you wants to stop change the arrangement. That you'll be cool about it. This is huge. Anyhow. None of these things matter if there's no attraction. So watch for signs of discomfort disinterest when you bring up the idea or start flirting. Good luck. Get a boner. Don't hide it. Works every time. This might be a dead thread. But I'm 3 glasses of wine in and alone so I'm gonna type this out. D was the roommate of my best friend. I'm a female. Best friend is male. I was always at their house obviously. Drinking partying etc. One day I'm at said house and D is walking around shirtless and cooking. He had a literal 8 pack. Defined. Long hair. Looked like a hot ass Tarzan. I thought to myself. No. Hands off. Flash forward to a house party myself and best friend attended. I'm sitting on the counter in the kitchen. Drunk af. 
and he just kinda plants himself between my legs and starts making out with me. Hooked up after the party and about 100 times afterward. We work together now. Both have relationships. And remain good friends. Sometimes there's unmistakable s tension but we both know it's not a thing anymore. TLDR. Best friends roomie made a move and I went with it. Continue to FCK Hot Tarzan. I'd been friends with him through high school and sometimes he'll send a booty pic or something to him. But one day we were talking about random past hookups and I was like dude why haven't we ever hooked up? And then we smashed. I had a female friend from high school that was really close. And I start dating another chick later on. Few years later. My lady started hitting on my friend. So I knew where it was headed. It turned into a threesome one night. Which was fun and all. But I left an impression. That after me and the lady split up. My friend sent me a text offering condolences and asked if I wanted company. So I go over go her place to try and drown my sorrows. While well, we get tipsy. And she started coming onto me. It got crazy. We wake up the next morning. And things go as normal. Never had a detrimental effect on our friendship. And if anything. It helped her trust people again. So win win. The dick went in the butt. And after that. His username became relevant. I went through this several times during my 20s. Every friendship I had that included benefits ended in disaster. Either they. Or myself. Eventually wanted more than friendship. SX started off always by trivializing SX. You quickly learn that SX is not trivial. Especially if you find yourself as the one who thinks they see potential in the relationship. And that's when things get awkward. Complicated. Emotional. And sometimes scary. Step 1. You forgot rule 2. Alcohol. Most of mine were exes. Started by dating. Broke up because we're better as friends. Kept f king anyway. One happened because my wife and I brought her and her boyfriend to a swinger party. They kept showing up to the parties. They eventually broke up and the ex-boyfriend stopped coming to the parties so now she's what they call a unicorn. Single woman going to swinger parties. Once in a while. We'll both get drunk and fck around. We've talked it over while sober. It's fully consensual. She's got a losing control fetish. My wife and I are swingers and she knows about this. It's as awesome as it sounds. This thread is fking depression. I don't have a girlfriend. Let alone any friends. How the hell am I gonna have sx literally ever? Get in shape. Dress better. Groom yourself more. Get a decent job. Learn how to talk to women. sx isn't going to fall into your lap. You have to go looking for it. You will fail 100 times before you succeed. Oh. Don't be a s this twat. Anyone that uses terms like alpha or beta should be avoided. They are not someone that will help you get laid. Just ask. I have had sx with more of my friends than not. Individually. Threesomes. Foursomes with mates wives and my partner. It's more people are afraid to ask or think it's wrong. Honestly. People just like to fck. The reason people are afraid. Is because some will not take such a request well and the friendship will be lost. This only works if you follow the two rules of S's attraction. 1. Be attractive to.